here to review the New York Biology Peppermint Oil. This peppermint oil is menthofurin, 10%, and on the back it states that it's 100% pe pure peppermint oil, mentha pepperita. And um, yeah, so it's just a kind of like a brownish see the bottom. This is the dropper. Okay, I wanted to um, explain to you all, just so you know what you're buying, because some people were complaining about um, the ingredients of this peppermint. Um, this is peppermint, I looked up peppermint pepperita, and I want you to know they said peppermint pepperita is a hybrid mint. It is really water mint and spearmint mixed together, so it is not peppermint. So it does have a minty smell or scent, but it is not peppermint, except for the 10%. And I want to tell you about the 10% of menthofurin, because um, people are complaining about this as well. And I want to let you know that this is what menthofurin is. So there's only 10%, and it states something about, like, um, it's toxic or something that is when ingested it even states in the back of the bottle Yeah, that you should not ingest it and to avoid contact of eyes and it also says Other than aromatherapy carefully dilute with the carrier oil So if you're going to put it on yourself or something you need to dilute it with like um, coconut oil or olive oil something like that Okay, so um, I'm just gonna, I just, I've used mine already in my, um, diffuser. And we spray it, I put a lot in, but I'm just gonna do two drops because someone recommended it, because I'll admit, I used it before. Whoa, it's already very strong. Sorry. Once I dropped it in. Um, I've used it before, and it was very powerful. It filled up my room, but the warning was... Yeah, the warning that I want to give you was that it um it made me cough. Like it's almost too powerful. So yeah, I just put in two drops and it's still powerful. So it's just depending on how you like it or if you can take it, because it started making me cough and kind of made me feel sick. I had to turn it off. So it's kind of doing that right now. <coughs> I'll face it this way. <coughs> Stop blowing on me. Okay. But it depends on, I guess, the size of your room, because my room is small. So, um, you know, like I said, it, it did have a unique smell. It did not smell like peppermint, so I was very suspicious of what was in it. So, yeah, that is a mix between water mint and spearmint. And I know I definitely sm smelled the spearmint. I just don't necessarily know what water mint is. I've heard of it, but, like, you know, it's not. I don't see water mint gum, and I don't see water mint um, pure oil. But, um... Let me turn this off. It's getting crazy. Yeah, so it's very strong. Now, they said that um, they used to use it, um, this oil was a peppermint. Peppermint. I mean, menthofurin. They used to use that in Egypt. And they also stated that um, it, it can help with like, muscle spasms or something. So, I guess it's just very strong. So, I don't know if that's after application or with smelling. But, you know, it's supposed to help with stress and... Keeping you focused, so um, you know, I'll see about that. I've only used it um, twice, I believe. So yeah, I'll just let you know what it was like, and um, that's my review. Um, it's one ounce, but it's actually bigger than those little. There's these little bottles that you usually get about that size, or it's just the cap. It doesn't come with a dropper. It comes with that inverted dropper, like almost like the cap. Um, this one, you know, it has. It has the dropper and it is um, a little bit bigger for one ounce, which I was glad about because I tend to favor peppermint oil in my diffuser because it is the strongest. Because I use lavender a lot too, but lavender can kind of be funny and sometimes I mix stuff. So I've not tried this one mixed. I'm sure it could help it because it could dilute the scent more if I mix it with like lavender. But um, you know, for now, I'm just reviewing the peppermint oil and it's great.